Welcome to IBC 2024. Discover game-changing innovations, explore new business models, and network with over 170 countries right here in Amsterdam. We're at the IBC 2024 in Amsterdam and delighted to be joined by Sebastian from Multidyne. Are you having a good show so far? Absolutely. It's been a very good show so far for us. Two more days to go and it's pretty busy. So tell us about Multidyne and your position within the broadcast industry. All right, so Multidyne being on the market for over 45 years already. We are a US-based company located in Kings Park, uh, New York. Uh, we also have our European presence, uh, our European offices in Gdańsk, Poland. We also do R&D and the support for the EMEA uh, region. So Multidyne being known uh, for transporting multiplex signals over longer distances, so we multiplex a lot of different signals without doing any processing necessarily to all of them, so whatever customer are able to inject in one end, they can get it back on the, on the opposite. So that was our speciality. Of course, we uh, continue developing and reaching other segments as well. So for all the camera products we do a lot of with power supplying, uh, helping uh, studio cameras to extend over distances with our solutions. Uh, but also we look into some uh, uh, things like embedding, de-embedding the signals, so a little bit more in a processing world uh, using our Open Gear platform as well. And our solutions are usually designed from a small handheld devices to more complex uh, frame type of the uh, products. So we have a nice big variation of the solution that we can offer and customize to our customers per you know, demands and uh, needs of and our what customers. they want. And what are you actually showcasing uh, at IBC? So this year we are very excited because for the first time in Europe, we're showing our SMPT 2110 product lineup. Uh, this is the answer to our customers' needs and requests. So now we proudly bring the product line uh, to IBC floor. We are a platinum pr uh, partner of uh, Rose Open Gear uh, platform and our SMPT 2110 uh, products were designed for that uh, frame, for that platform. Uh, the products come with nine different flavors. So we can ad address uh, different uh, video formats. So starting with uh, 3G SDI signals, we can do a combination with our cards when you can move 3x3, 4x4, 6x2, 2x6 combination to access the, the, the network 21 flow. Uh, but also we're not forgetting about the UHD. So, uh, so we can do 2x0 and 0x2, 1x1 on the over 25 gig optics. Of course, with the full redundancy, SMPT 2022-7. Uh, and on the top of that, we're also looking into a low latency JPEG XX codec. So that card is also available in a configuration 2x0 or 0x2. So overall, it's a very exciting product. We're taking advantage of uh, dashboard uh, from ROS, pretty much to provide all the functionality for setup, monitoring, and the control. So it's a very exciting for us to stepping into more into uh, software realm and yeah. Sebastian, you're also unveiling your new look Nanobricks. Tell us more. Absolutely. So Multidyne had a big portfolio of uh, Nanobricks to, to do a different things from optical, electrical, conversion, down mix and stuff like that. Uh, we realized that we, we need to continue investing into this product line. So we also decided to change a little bit the look of the product and improve uh, the cases of the Nanobrixis. So at IBC, we're showing two completely new Nanobrixis in the new enclosures. Uh, the first of them, it's, um, it's a 10 gig over fiber extender. Uh, so it's optical to electrical, electrical to optical. Uh, but also, what is pretty pretty nice about this product, we also provide PoE++ to power, power up devices directly from those, uh, from those bricks. On the top of that, we have HDMI 2.0 uh, nanobricks. Uh, it was designed to move 12G SDI, convert to HDMI, okay, with some loop outs and ability to move those signal over fiber as well. On the top of that, we, we have some option for HDR, and also for uh, audio mixing. So this is very exciting. Now, few words about the new enclosures. Uh, we move and improve them so 
they have like a magnetic plates, so the customers can pretty much mount them to uh, steel plates, or they can mount them with some additional hardware to to to, to the walls or, or places like that. Uh, plus the the new look and ability to pretty much uh, combine them together into one solid pieces with some additional brackets. On the top of that, we're doing some protection for the for the connections because sometimes with expansion and addition of the different signals that you have in a, in a, uh, a, a nanobrickses, uh, you need to be able to connect many uh, many cables. So that kind of a protect them from being disconnected or hit. Uh, so we're very excited and we will continue developing uh, nanobrickses and going into this enclosure. So you can see us here. Great functionality. Thanks, Sebastian.